Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, Bob here and we're about to start an epic journey in uh, Middle Earth, I think. Um, anyone who's kind of watched some of the videos will know that I've tried to... Hang on a second, the old uh, music volume's quite loud in my, my ear there. Uh, anyone who's watched any of my videos will know that I've, I've sort of kick-started a couple of uh, Lord of the Rings online sort of playthroughs. Uh, unsuccessfully. I think I was kind of a bit daunted by the task really and, and the time input but I kind of realised that really there's no pressure you just sort of do it as you go along you know and that's sort of what I'm planning on doing uh, so I'm going to be playing starting a new game a uh, new character on a new server on Lord of the Rings Online and uh, we're going straight from uh, character creation we're starting right at the beginning I kind of know what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to be a dwarf I'm going to be a minstrel uh, I'll faff around with the face a bit. Uh, we don't do that here. Let's have a look. Uh, enter my name. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I, here we go. I can change all the stuff here. So let's have a look. Where are we going to be from? Uh, the Lonely Mountain? I uh, don't know. Grey Mountain. Yeah, I quite like the colours there that the Grey Mountain give, gives you for hair and stuff. My colours will have green, skin colour, a bit tanned. Now, the most important thing for me for, for when I'm creating a character in an MMO is the hair and the beard, basically. You know, I don't have any have any hair of my own. <laughs> so uh I kind of uh <laughs> I kind of live my hair through through my from a characters. I'm not sure about that one. Let's say we'll have the normal long flowing locks. Let's see what beards we've got for the dwarves. It's gotta be a proper beard. Uh, holy smoke, that's a proper beard. I think I prefer the beard, the big beard with the uh, with the knots and stuff in, and the plaits. Let's go for that. Um, not really much else we can do. I always like the bushiest, bushiest eyebrows. That'll do. Uh, the rest of the stuff I'm not too bothered about. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, delaying the naming part <laughs> because in a in a, an MMO. I think the naming's always the hardest part for some reason. Let's have... do we want... Let's have greying hair. That's kind of a bit like uh, what I've got in the beard there. A bit of, bit of grey. Yeah, the naming section is always for me the hardest part for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I do try to stick to names, sort of common names that you, you would find um, in Middle Earth. But try not to copy a name if you know what I mean. Um, that said, I've got no idea what uh, what to go for. Let's have a quick look at the um, flossy. <laughs> I quite like flossy. I wonder if I can get. I wonder, uh, I wonder if I can do Percy. I, for some reason, I call a few characters Percy. I think it's after Percy from uh, Blackadder Two. Um, can I get away with calling him Percy, or will it will it tell me to get stuffed? Let's have a go. Oh, there we go. Percy, the level one dwarf minstrel. Let's get straight into Middle Earth, shall we? The reason I chose a minstrel is I've never played one before. Um, but I, 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 anyone that sort of reads back over Tolkien's work, some of the earlier stuff, uh, Silmarillion, sort of you read Unfinished Tales, lay, Lays of Beleriand, that kind of stuff. Um, it, it's sort of a person's voice is quite quite important, um, and there are sort of instances of people using their voice through sort of just words and singing to produce powerful effects. I've always was always interested in the minstrel but I was always a bit sort of um, I'm not sure what, what put me off to be honest. Um, I think it was the whole, the whole thing of getting into a group and having the responsibility of healing people. <laughs> I wasn't too sure about that but uh, I thought I'd give it a go. Now I apologise for the menus because this is a brand new game I've just got in um, and what I'm not going to do is muck about with the menus too much at the moment. I'll leave them as they are. Um, I think also the uh, the minstrel has undergone has gone a lot of changes. I think um, herald strike. So that's, that's a melee attack, and I've got minor ballad. It boosts my tactical damage and harms my foes. Okay, and I've got coda of vigor, a coda that finishes your music with an inspiring and uplifting sound that heals your target. Cool. Right, so I'm not quite sure how it's working yet. But uh, I'll get there. I'm assuming that I use a ballad, and then maybe it unlocks uh, it unlocks a coda, maybe to use. But I do know that the minstrels went through a pretty big change not so long ago. 
Well, actually, it probably was quite a long, quite a while ago now. But I think, in, in sort of terms of game life, it probably wasn't that long ago. But yeah, so we'll just we'll kick off here. See how we get on. Um, I think I'm playing through the. Did I did I have the option to play through the um, the intro ticked? I think I may have done. Yeah, I think so. There's that Eladan. Is Eladan one of Elrond's sons, isn't he? Eladan and Elra here, I think. Anyway, I've got to talk to Nos. I have come to offer my service to this party. Okay. So it looks like Elrond's sons are here on some kind of mission, maybe. Uh, and Dwarl in the centre is here to find out why they're here. Okay. So I've got to go and talk to. I've got to go and talk to Eladan. By the looks of it. Yeah, as I said, guys, the menus are all a bit sort of up in the air, but I'll, I'll sort all those out to my liking at some point before the next video. I just wanted to get things kicked off, really. Let's go and see what Eladan's got to say for himself. It is interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did. Though we came for different purposes. Okay. What I'll do is uh, I'll sort of get through the intro. Uh, not I won't rush for it, but sort of quickish. And then what I'll try and do is start reading out some of the quests and stuff that are going on. Um, basically, yeah. He's what does he want us to do? He wants us to help him anyway. So we've got a. We've got a tattered dwarf make cloth short robe, which we're gonna. My he's gonna. Is great among the wise, which he's gonna. He's gonna give us. Do not often stray from the mark. Uh, Elrond's sons obviously walk around with uh, with stuff, um, robes and things. They just give out, you know, as uh, as they go about their business. So I put that on, and uh, yeah, okay, that's a rather unfortunate position to be in. I'll move back a bit. Uh, I quite like that robe. That's quite good. Uh, I've actually been a—I'm not sure what they call it, mega member or lifetime member or something since the game came out. So I've got—I've got a five—I've got a five-year gift box and uh, and a four and a three and a two and a one that I'll need to open at some point as well. And what have I got? I've got a horse. Uh, I've got a stone thing that looks quite good. I get 25 experience on monster kills. I'll wear that. I've got some other stuff. I've got some cloaks. Now that's my favourite cloak. Uh, it looks like it's a bit of a dwarf on the back there. So that's, he's looking quite good, isn't he? Anyway, yeah. It appears as though I've been given all lots of free stuff here that I need to look at because I'm a because I've been a member for a period of time, I guess. Anyway, let's close that. Um, what does he want us to do? It looks as though Elrond's had a dream. Um, and there's a riddle here that Elrond's given um, his sons to try and find out the meaning of. So he wants us to go and speak to uh, someone called Merafen. By the looks of things. And where is she? I'm assuming it's a she. Let's go and have a look. Oh, there she is. Little elfy lady. Meg of Onan. What do you make of this riddle? Okay, well she, uh, yeah. I'll leave that up there so you can read it. She doesn't seem, to, hopefully you can read it anyway. She doesn't seem to, uh, she doesn't seem too, too convinced what it's all about. She wants us to go and find someone called Doralas. So let's go and find Doralas, who is essentially just over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was the one who led the party here. But there is a slight flaw in my thinking. Okay. He was one of the part for I believe the Dower King is none other than Scorgrim, King of the Dower Hands. Oh no. But Scorgrim's been dead for many years. He died here. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay. So Dora Lass thinks that Scorgrim is uh is alive again. Why did Dora Back from the dead. Here? Is dead. Ah, but he's probably not. Okay, so Eladan's got some more clothes to give out, which is uh, 
course very nice of him there's some gloves that I'll put on there we go and I've got a new quest honing my skills yeah so the intros are all the same essentially for this bit you've got to go and talk to your trainer a minstrel's major ballad okay learn skill major ballad and use it while in combat I'll accept that now does he he probably teaches me that doesn't he major ballad there we go right let's swap those around now I'm assuming major ballad unlocks when I use a uh, a minor one so obviously what I need to do here is learn the system <laughs> Okay, there we go. So you used minor, opened up a major. Let's see how you open up the coder. Oh, I've, un I've unlocked the coder. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I've done it. And uh, he's giving out weapons. Is that much better than the weapon I've got? Yeah, we'll equip the new weapon. There we go. Back to Eladan. You have a true warrior's heart. Okay, so what do you want to do? So he wants me to investigate the uh, the ruins where Scorgrim fell, just to ensure that he's dead. Okay, let's go. I love this area, um, as I've probably said in many videos, many times before. I love uh, snowy landscapes in games, um, and I do like this. Now, where does he want us to go? I think there's a little uh, little dungeon around here, or a little instance. We'll go and have a look. Oh, okay. Dorniel, survivor. Let's see what she's got to say. She looks a bit sad, doesn't she? And she's hurt her wrist, bless her. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. Okay. She was gravely hurt when. So what? <laughs> Let's try try and pronounce it. Ed 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 I think something like that. I know that the. Uh, it's quite difficult to pronounce the um I mean it's, it sounds like it's Ed Helion, but I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's probably Eth Helion or something like that. Anyway. Okay, these seem to be survivors from when Scorgrin died. Or supposedly died. Now we've got to go and talk to some chap called Doron Gur. Doron Gur Whitehorn. Okay. How can I be of service? Uh, it was across that bridge there that brave Talagan brought the library walls down upon himself and Scorgrim. Thus putting an end to Scorgrim's lust for immortality. Okay. I'm going to pick. Finish that. Okay. Okay, so apparently I've got to go in and seek Scorgrim's body. Defeat pests. Okay. You mentioned that flower over there. I'm sure I've, that comes along a bit later. Anyway, let's go and defeat some pests. Let's have a quick look at the map, shall we? Where do I need to go? Okay, back this way. There's probably a little instance or something I need to go through. Oh, can't open the gate. <laughs> I'll go round then. Music's really good. I'm not sure if you can hear it very well. I love the architecture as well and the design and everything. It's really, really great in this game. Go have a quick look at the map. Okay, not too far to go. 
As a minstrel, I probably could have healed her, couldn't I? Can I help her wrist there? No. Just healed myself for some reason. There's a door there we can't go in. Steps leading down, though, I'm assuming this is going to take us down to... to where we need to go. Ah, oh, the Silver Deep Mine. Okay. Now, I have I've done this Dwarven section before. It's a bit different to what I remember it. Uh, but I've done it before, so... Okay. Okay, into the Silver Deep Mine. I can't seem to hear my, my loot playing very loudly there at the moment, so I might turn that up for the next video as well, because I do like to hear that. It's always a balance doing the videos between being able to hear me and, uh, <laughs> and not being overpowered by the... Um I don't think my coda of vigour, I think it just heals me essentially at the moment. I don't think it's too... I need to worry about that too much. And I'll probably need to unlock it to use a tray at some point. Well, I, I get lots of effects on me when I um, when I uh, use my stuff. Bust me up a bit. Oh. I do love the dwarves. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> Bosh, okay. Right, so I've killed four pests. Let's go and find where Scorgrim was, uh, where the body was found. No idea where it is. I'm guessing it's probably not going to be there, though. Oh, okay. Scorgrim's body is gone, but the same strange flower that's found in Edhelion uh, is here. Collect one of the strange red flowers. Okay. Done. What's next? So I'm going to take the flower to Eladan. Now, anything around here first? Let's have a look. The dwarf intro used to be much different to this, from if memory serves. Or maybe I've skipped the intro. I don't know. I'm sure the intro used to be where you you helped uh, you helped Gloin or someone. I'm sure there was a bit where Gandalf uh, was fighting the troll there, and um, came sight of a troll, and obviously he pierced pierced the uh, the walls there, and the sun came through and turned into stone. Maybe I've missed that bit somehow. But it looks like I've got to go back out and find Eladan. Let's head this way. It's funny when, uh, whenever people, sort of, you know, with sort of a wife or someone, sort of friends in the past, have sort of seen you playing an MMO. Um, the one thing they seem to be left with uh, when they go away is that you're always running around. <laughs> so, what, is that a game? Well, we don't do anything but run around. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, MMOs, you do spend quite an awful lot of time running around. Um, that's just the way it is, I think, isn't it? You know, it's uh, particularly in sort of Lord of the Rings here. I've, I don't think there's too much in the way of porting around unless you're you're a ranger, a ranger, unless you're a hunter or a warden. So yeah, you do tend to run an awful lot. But it's funny because it's a few people have said it to me. When you play those games, you always seem to be just running around. Is that what you do? I said, well, <laughs> you do quite a lot. Yeah, it's um. We'll take the stairs up. I'm assuming Eladan is back in the... Uh, oh, there's another player. Uh, an elven hunter. 
but you see a lot of those. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, what sort of how things stand with classes or stuff anymore in the game. Um, I've only been sort of dabbling on and off. Um, haven't been sort of following on the forum, so I don't really know what class is good, what's not, what people are moaning about, what they're not moaning about. Not that I'm particularly bothered, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'm not not really sure. But what I do know is that there's there, there always a lot of hunters. Uh, and I just think that's, you know, people want to try and recreate the Legolas or the Aragorn thing, don't they? So they go for go for the hunter. Okay, Eladan, we're back. We've had a flower. Oh. I have not seen before. Okay. He's got some more clothes for us. Okay. So we've got to go and explore the gate at the Silver Deep Mines courtyard. Okay. I think that's back just from where we came. He did give me some. Uh, what did he give me to wear? Give me some shoes. New shoes. There we go. Let's open some of these boxes while we're here. For um, a one year for the one year gift box, I got some fire anniversary fireworks. Oh wow! For I got some battle potions, and I got. Plus five percent attack damage for ninety minutes. Little buff there. Oh, I've got this as well. Three tomes of continuing swiftness. Plus five percent out of run combat speed. Okay. Three year gift box. Oh, I've got some keys. Sturdy keys. Um, was that all I got there? I'm not sure. That looks like that's all I got there for that one. Some keys. I'm not sure what you do with those. You open open sturdy boxes, I guess. Oh, and for the five year one, I've been given some some clothes, clothing. Um, I've got a festive azure tunic and trousers, and we've got a party dress. Okay, let's put the old. Oh, look at that tunic. That's awesome. We'll be running around in that for a while. We quite like that. Doesn't have any armor, does it? Though I, I thought you could wear. I f I'll have a look. I'm sure you can wear clothes, as well as your armor. But you you can just sort of uh, you can have the look of your clothes, your, your sort of you know your your fashionable clothes things rather than your armor showing. I will check that. What's that there? Okay, I think I'm looking for Elra here now. And there's one more. There's one of those flowers. Okay, follow the trail of red flowers down the road. I'll do that. Do I need to? Do I need to activate everyone? Oh, come on. Okay, it looks like I might need to activate every flower as I go along, we'll see. There are some monsters out here. Oh, the dog barking. Cold thanged bar chest. Bar chest. No idea how the pronunciation is there. Now I'm clicking all of these because I'm assuming that I have to. Every one I come across does have an activation symbol, so I'm probably better off uh, doing that. Oh, little uh, little dwarf there. Trigwi. Trifwi. What the dour hands have done to this place. Oh blimey. Okay. Yandan is Sporn, the steward appointed by Thorin before he left. Okay, wants me to go and speak to Gormir or Gorma. Who appears to be the <coughs> the leader of the new leader of the Dower Hands. 
Let's go and see what he's got to say for himself. Wow, it's all going on here. Here he is, Gorma. Have you come to pay your respects at Skogrim's tomb? Oh. That's unusual. There's a dwarf there with a sort of an Eastern European flavoured accent there. Normally, for some reason, dwarves always seem to be Scottish, don't they? Um, do I like what you've done with the place? Yeah, no nice. One is to gain admittance to Skogrim's tomb. Okay, well, I can't get into the tomb, but he said I can go and pay my respects at the shrine. Which, you know, I, mean, I don't really want to do. Why would I want to go and pay my respects to uh, to Scorgrim? But obviously it's part of a quest, so I'll, uh, I'll go and have a look. And it looks like I've got to defeat some bats as well. You can't get away from that in MMOs, can you, really? Go and investigate the shrine while you're there, kill some bats. <laughs> Which, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There we go. Well, I think these bats are going to be quite easy to, to defeat, aren't they? Okay. Is that score grim up there? Looks like it. But it appears as I've got to defeat the bats first, which is bizarre, isn't it? It really is odd. Go and see the shrine, but you've got to kill these bats first. Right, okay. pretty straightforward so far. I still can't hear my loot playing as much though which is, is a bit annoying. Okay. So I've killed the um, killed the bat. Oh god. Oof. Killed the bats. A menacing looking statue has been raised in the likeness of the Dower Hand King of Old. Oof. Okay. We've done what we needed to do. Let's get out of this place. I like those crystals on the wall there. They're pretty cool. Oh, two quest symbols here. Tomb Guard. Yarni. Or Bjarni. What do you want? Okay. So you he's uh Quite happy that I went to see the shrine, and he's got some more quests it's for us. Apparently, busy day for all my folk. let's put my trousers on. Oh, they've got a they've got a ritual going, a ritual coming up, and they want me to go and talk to Dwarlin, tell him of Gorma's plans for the ritual. I'll do that. I'm quite happy to do that. You should pay your respects to Skogrim. Okay, well, Bjarni wants me to collect some uh, black stones for the ritual of uh, commemoration. I'll do that. Let's go and see if we can find some black stones then. No idea where they are. You know. Um, let's have a look at the map. Is there another... Oh. Questing over here. I think this is. I think Dwarlin's over here somewhere. Oh wow! Look, Dwarven Square here. There's all sorts of things going on. There's Dwarlin. Let's go and have a chat with him. Thank goodness you're here. Okay. Well, he's got a lot of bad things to say about Scorgrim, and he says, uh, since since I went away, I don't know where I went, some of the dwarves of the party have fell ill. Okay. Look, all of these dwarves are sick. Dying. Sick dwarves wants me to look into uh, why the dwarves are sick. That's fair enough. No problem there. Got some other quests to do. Unar. Unar wants me to kill some bar guests. Any other quests going? No, it doesn't seem to be. 
Right, let's go and kill some bar guests. Although he seems to be pointing that quest seems to be pointing me towards um, up there. Don't want to go up there. Here's the bar guests here. quite sure what my rotation should be at the moment. I'm just uh <laughs> I mean my minor ballad is always available pretty much so I'm just uh just spamming that and anything else when it comes up basically. There we go. Oh bloody hell for two of them there. There we go. Is that quite that quest done? Yeah. That didn't take long at all. Oh, I've got a ballad damage bonus there. Woohoo. Let's go and see if Unar's got any kit for us. Ooh, those dogs chill my heart. <laughs> Excellent. Is that a level up? Is that a level up? Level five already? Bloody hell. Well, I've got some shoulder pads to wear. There we go. Looking a bit more like it now. Right. Uh, Dwalin wanted us to investigate the strange soil and collect samples from sick bears. That's pointing over this way, so let's go and have a look. Oh, oh blimey. I don't think I've seen this before. This is all quite changed from the previous dwarf intro. What the hell is that? The dower hands foul work by the looks of it. Oh, and there's some there's some sludge and some wow, some pretty sickly looking bears. Okay, I'm assuming a dying mountain mountain bear. That's a shame, isn't it? I'm assuming I've got to fight them, poor things. Sickly bear flesh. <laughs> God. I don't think I mentioned it before, but we've had uh, we've had sort of um, fiber optic BT Infinity thing installed here, and uh, the last two videos I uploaded were pretty awesome. So what I might try and do is sort of start doing videos in 1080p. I don't know if anyone's particularly interested in watching watching in 1080p, but uh, I might try and upload one that sort of that resolution. See how we get on. It's got quite a good range on it, that, um... What have we got? We've got... I've got one more piece of uh, flesh to get, and one more bit of soil to investigate. Okay. One more bit of sludge. Let's put this poor bear out of his misery, shall we? Not sure what they're supposed to do. That I need to have a look a, a bit more. Have a look at these. Uh, some of what some of these skills do. There we go. Okay, let's head back to Dwalin. I think we've done what we needed to do here. They're making a right old mess of these dwarves, aren't they? They must—they must be baddie dwarves, mustn't they? Can't be goody dwarves, not with uh, not with all that mess going on. Dastardly dour hands, no doubt. Now there must be—I'm um, assuming there's a minstrel trainer around here. There he is. I don't know if there's any new skills I can what learn. Piercing cry. Oh, cool, got a new skill. I love the picture. Someone going, Aah! 
let's move those around. There we go. If the water of the river has been tainted, it explains it. Okay, so the springs should be the purest of water. Okay, so the the old uh, the water's been poisoned. I've got to go and destroy, defeat some guards, and explore the mountainside for the source of the poison. And I think at that point, guys, we'll end our first video and sort of little tentative steps into Lord of the Rings Online. Um, and I hope to see you again soon in Middle Earth. Thanks for watching.